Welcome to another guide too, with me, Mr. Silly P. The fill trigger tools. Where have you been all my life? Um, this is a mod by Holger Sengstock, who bought us the um, slurry um, buy point and storage point and sell point. Um, I when this mod came out, I kind of. It came out amongst three or four mods, and I kind of glanced over it, had a bit of a read through, thought, mm, okay, you know, it's another set of buckets and stuff, didn't really pay much attention to it. Um, had a bit of spare time, having a bit of a fiddle about with it. These things are amazing. I'm doing this guide to on Sussex, on Sussex Farm. There's a specific reason why I'm doing it on Sussex Farm, and you'll see that in a minute. Now, this mod, these mods, this pack of mods, is quite extensive and quite impressive I have to say and you know to be fair they are there are buckets there are um, various silage cutters and forks and uh, there's a conveyor belt and stuff like that which in its own right they will work like that that's no problem at all but they are designed specifically for fill triggers which in my mind I didn't really pay much attention to so what we'll do is have a quick look in store um, and when we have a quick look in store, under various different vehicles, any vehicle that can have an attachment on the front, pretty much. Um, so, for example, the wheel loaders, if I scroll across, you will have the Maxi Universal Shovel, 6,000 litres, and it's a fiddle trigger tool. If I go to telehandlers, you've got the fill trigger tools, you've got the Maxi Shovel, 4,500 litre, and you've got the Manure Fork, 3,500, both fill trigger tools. If we go down to uh, skid steer loaders, and scroll across once I get there we've got field trigger tools shovel and manure fork and if we go across to obviously the obvious one front loader attachments um, and go all the way across again so we get there we have got and these are the ones I've got that are different colors in front of me I've got the universal bucket we've got manure fork fork with grapple and silage cutter if we then go across to belt systems you've got the Grimmy uh, SL8022 Quantum um, conveyor belt system. That's one that's going to be most relevant at the moment, I think, for me on Sussex Farm. And that's why I was having a bit of a fiddle around with it. So, bear with me. I've got over here a placeable... Um, I think one of the changes... This isn't a new mod for PC, but it is for consoles, definitely. And one of the changes was that it would work on certain field triggers, but some modded ones it wouldn't. And I think that's what's been adjusted. So I've got a pig food silo, and I've got a seed um, silo. The problem I've always had with the pig food silo is it's got a very, very low spout. So if you're trying to fill up a big trailer, you can't get under it. So you could only ever really do this with smaller trailers, and it was a bit of a pain, and, you know... And if you put a belt under there, it would never work so that's what you can use these for um, you can put the belt under it and you can raise it up and you can get a bigger trailer under it to fill up or if you want to you can jump on one of these jump in 2.5 or 2.6 I went with that it doesn't really matter that's not what's important um, and if I go around to buckets because sometimes you don't want a whole trailer sometimes you're just filling up your pig food or you know, it's cheaper to do it with, with pallets, and I'll show you that in a minute. So, what I shall do is go underneath it, like so, and it comes up, refill front loader tool. If I press L3, voila, pig food. Absolutely fantastic, very, very helpful indeed. I'm just going to dump this here, I know it's going to make a mess, but... But the great thing with it as well is, it will work on pallets. So if it's cheaper to buy pallets than it is to do it from a silo, um, the other thing being, if you want it to be kind of a little bit more realistic, yes, you can use pallet forks, you can pick it up with pallet forks, hold it over a trailer. Um, what you can do, again, if I come over to here, right up next to it, it says refill front loaded tool. If I press L3, it will fill up by the side of it. Now, like I say, this has been out a little while, um, was it last week it came out and um, I dare say people have done guide 2's mod reviews and whatnot on this already and if you've seen it already and it's nothing new to you that's great you don't have to watch it I was just to be fair blown away I don't know how many people may have kind of skimmed over it and really ignored it um, so wheel loader uh, I've got the Maxi bucket here 
come at a really bad angle, but let's click onto that. Now, same thing with this. If I get up close to, for example, the fertilizer, tip that back a bit, and refill. Got my 1,000 litres, actually it disappeared into that. It's a 6,000 litre bucket, the Magsy one for the wheel loader. But it'll fill up there. It's about. Always looks way more when it's on the ground, doesn't it? And then I'll go out to the sea refill um, bin that I've put out here. And with more modders and map makers putting purchase points, refill points on their maps uh, for things like manure and silage and grass and hay and whatever else it might be. So if I put this now down by the seed container, refill, and there you go, 6,000 litres straight in. Like I say, you can do it with pallets, you can do it from a refill point, whichever way you want to do it. That's absolutely brilliant. So that's kind of the buckets and those kind of things will work perfectly if you want to do a bucket load or you want to load up a trailer but you don't want to do it with pallet forks and that kind of thing. The reason I'm on Sussex Farm, and for me the kind of far more important reason, bear with me and I'll go down to the livestock market. So I'm at the livestock market, I'm at the buy manure point. Now for anyone who's played on Sussex Farm or is playing on Sussex Farm, what you, you'll have found is that the in-game trailers, the bog standard vanilla trailers work perfectly well. You bring them around here, press L3, they'll fill up. Modded trailers aren't working, won't work on here. Um, I've got the Oshkosh with the 70,000 litre, the BSM. Nope, wrong one. Well that's the Jilly Burt, but I'll show you that as well. It's a modded trailer, as you come round you don't get a trigger come up. It doesn't say refill for press L3. Nothing happens. Not what you want really. It's exactly the same for the BSM. That won't refill either. This is where this little beauty comes in handy. Now this will fit underneath the pig food silo. It will go to any refill point and if you want to load a trailer quickly rather than using buckets this is the one to use it's in the conveyor belt section like i showed you right at the very end it's there's slightly different i think the end tray here isn't curved like on the standard one it's got a more squared off end i think but i'll jump in it um start engine and i'll drive it forward onto the trigger so if you've been using the cramp 59,000 litre trailer um, or you've been using that or one of them dumping it on the floor then shoveling it into a bigger trailer and it becomes a bit of a nuisance you know then engine off it says refill belt which I can do but at the moment I'm going to leave that and I'll go and grab this so now you don't actually have to put the trailer into the trigger the conveyor belt's in the trigger because it's a fill trigger tool hence its name I don't, I'm, I'm blown away by it I mean I know it sounds ridiculous and I should have paid more attention when it came out, but here you go. So, back into the conveyor belt. It says refill belt, press L3, goes up the belt and starts filling up. So now, you can actually fill up your non-standard trailers, your modded ones, from any of the fill points. Whether it be seed, fertiliser, manure point here, whatever it might be, and we are now filling up the BSM 70,000 litre trailer. So I'll have 70,000 litres of manure rather than 59. It's not a huge amount of difference, but the fact with this as well, because you can hook multiple trailers together, you can come up here and you can fill up as many trailers as you want. Um, these tools are brilliant. They're going to make a massive difference, I think. Um, yeah, they just it works really well. You can do the same with the wheel loader. Did I, bring the, did I leave the wheel loader here? No, I took it back up to this tool, didn't I? Oh no, here we go. Um, same with this. I just I thought I knew I had a spare wheel loader. If I bring the wheel loader around, that's filling up there. I can do the same from the cell, the purchase point here. It says refill tool. Press L3. I can fill up my bucket manure as well. So if you want to do it rather than the conveyor belt, you'd rather do it as like a proper loading. You can do it like proper loading, like so. Put it right up. I don't know if this will go in this side actually. Not particularly well. Oh, it does have high tip, doesn't it? Yes, that was a bit of luck, wasn't it? 
and there you go, 6,000 litres straight in. So, you know what? I think fill trigger tools by Holger Senstock. Big thumbs up, cracking mods from, well, my opinion, what it, what it stands for, what it's worth. Um, they are absolutely brilliant. If you're not using them yet, if you're playing on Sussex Farm, if you want to fill up non standard trailers, modded trailers, get yourself one of these beauties. Um, and also, because you can now, on the update for Sussex Farm, you can sell TMR over here and you can sell pig food. What you could do is fill up a trailer with pig food, bring it down, sell it here, using one of these, it's going to work out a lot quicker. But anyway, that's it. That's the fill trigger tools. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative. Um, you may not be as blown away by it as I am, but I think they're, they're great. Really, really cool. Useful bits of kit, especially on this map, but on any maps that you might feel the need to have them for something. Um, I hope you found it useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>